Now, after waiting the longest we ever have in his career for a new album, Tyler the Creator has finally come back outside and he has announced a brand new record which is titled Chromacopia. And now first off, after Tyler was trolling fans all year about the fact that he had no album coming, this couldn't have been more of a surprise. And now when we look at everything we know about this project and dissect the near minute and a half long snippet Tyler has given us from the album with the track titled Saint Chroma, we can see that this album is not just going to end up being one of the biggest hip hop has seen all year but that it's setting itself up to be Tyler's most ambitious and boundary pushing body of work yet, which is of course saying a lot. And now before we can look any further on how Tyler is about to shut the rap and music worlds down in a way that we have never seen before, it's important to note that Tyler just announced the album will be releasing on Monday, October 28th, which means that this record is setting itself up to release right within October. So be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can stay caught up on everything that will be leading up to this record. And now when it comes to the release dates of Tyler's new album, this is another important thing that is telling us so much about the project because historically, most Tyler albums and the last three of his, which have made for the historic run that has brought him into hip-hop superstardom, all released around the summer months and in each of their own respective ways. As Tyler is so meticulous and tuned in to the details of his record that he has put each one out to fit the very time of year that it drops him. As now Tyler is going to be putting this album out around Halloween season. Beyond his last three albums, which for how different they were, all had this sonic vibrance baked into them, which made them perfect for the summer. Tyler is now going to be making what may become the biggest switch in sound that we have ever seen from him, which is of course saying a lot. But from what we have heard on this new track he's previewed, St. Chroma, it already seems like it's shaping itself out to be this way, because from the visual storytelling in the video to the sound itself, everything is pointing to the fact that this era from Tyler is going to be more intense and cutting edge than we have ever seen from him. And even compared to his earlier records like Goblin, which were dark in tone. While the same wit that has defined Tyler is still here as we can all see in the same Chroma video. The stakes of what he is doing here just feel so much higher than anything from that era or from his entire career as a whole, because throughout Tyler's musical journey to this point, while on certain songs and on albums in the past like Flower Boy, he has said some things that are very important. It seems like he is going to be taking things to a whole new level as based on the album's title alone. Chroma means the intensity of a color and specifically, it's freedom from white and gray and copia means an abundance. And on top of this, when it comes to the color of green specifically, chroma is a term that's used to refer to green screens. And now within this video, the most narratively important part of it is near the end where things go crazy and the visuals go from being black and white to being fully in color. And now clearly with all of this, from the visual translation that we see to the album title itself, this is going to be a theme and device that will drive together this entire album. And while it's too early to tell where Tyler is going to go from here with this, and I won't even try to predict it because it would not be fair to his musical genius. Another thing we do know about this LP is that based on the way Tyler has titled these previews and snippets of songs from his albums on social media in the past, that St. Chroma is going to be the intro track on this project, and knowing how conceptually rich and great and proficient of a storyteller that Tyler is. The context of where this song lies within the track list is another key aspect that is telling us so much about the record because it is what is going to be setting the tone for what's to come. And as a result, it will set the very framework that the rest of the story Tyler is telling us will be built off. So seemingly with Tyler deciding to show us that there are two sides of the spectrum here, both in terms of the black and white to color parts of the video, and then by seemingly having a song with two halves to go along with this, there is going to be some sort of a concept of duality that will definitely be playing a role into this album that I think based on what we have heard so far is going to allow Tyler to play within a musical world where he is going to end up being more experimental and unpredictable predictable than ever, because more than ever and now that he has reached a point in terms of both skill and success that few rappers out right now can match, because let's just put Tyler's career into perspective right now. His last tour grossed more money than Jake Coles did, and he did just headline the biggest music festival in the world in Coachella, which is an achievement that only few other rappers can boast about. So with Tyler not being able to become more successful in terms of the numbers and accolades, everything is leaning to the fact that he will be creating an album that is going to push him purely as an artist more than we have ever seen. And now immediately with the mask we see he has on and with the darker sound, 
What Tyler has previewed reminded me of a record like Yeezus, and I think when we look at the lineage of hip-hop creatives who build these one-of-a-kind album experiences like Tyler the Creator, whether it's Ye going from what was his ultimate victory lap album in My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy to Yeezus, or even Childish Gambino going from his biggest album Awaken My Love to 31520, or Kendrick Lamar going from his biggest commercial statement Damn to Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, or even Lil Wayne going from his magnum opus and ultimate victory lap The Carter 3 to his rock album Reaper, or even Travis Scott from the larger-than-life Astroworld to the grittier and darker Utopia. We have seen over and over again with hip-hop's greatest auteurs that when they reach their highest level of success with a grand and larger-than-life body of work that serves as a victory lap to their entire career, after that moment where it really seems like the peak of their success in terms of what they can do in an album experience to the highest commercial level possible, what we have seen these types of creatives end up doing is releasing an album that shocks everyone with how out of nowhere it is. And while this has always been a theme and a running thing with Tyler the Creator to an extent, in his recent run from Flower Boy to Igor to Igor to Call Me If You Get Lost, while he has taken Sonic 180 after Sonic 180, the sounds he utilized on these projects were always pretty accessible, and here it seems like he's finally going to be breaking that trend and challenging the music world to listen to something that truly feels like nothing else we have ever heard before. And now seeing the heights that this has brought other rappers to in the past ultimately, well of course there is an inherent risk anytime an artist switches up their sound. With someone of Tyler's caliber and with his track record, I would be shocked if he did not knock this project out of the park and deliver another body of work that we will end up talking about for a very long time. So now overall, with Tyler the Creator kicking this rollout into full gear right now, and with the album's release date right around the corner, Tyler did just confirm that this album is going to be releasing on Monday, October 28th, which will be the perfect time to deliver a record that from the character Tyler is playing, which from the mask looks more intimidating and scary than we have ever seen, to the music which sounds so intense. Tyler dropping his 8th studio album around Halloween could not be more fitting. And now knowing that we can expect all this on the record, and there are of course going to be some great and one-of-a-kind collaborations, which from what we know, we already have heard Daniel Caesar here very clearly, and some people claim to hear one of the vocalists in the background of this new track as Frank Ocean. Which while I don't think it's Frank, maybe he will have a bigger role on the project, considering he did have an interlude on Call Me If You Get Lost. And beyond these guests, we also know that joining in line with the shocking features on every single title of the Creator album, who is going to blow everyone away here like NBA Youngboy did on What's Your Name is going to be none other than Sexy Red. As she said that Tyler called her up recently and needed her to be on a song that he said she was perfect for. And so with all of this, and I'm sure what will unfold into much, much more, all in all, Chromacopia is setting itself up to be more unpredictable than ever. And in a hip-hop world where the best rappers alive thrive directly off this creative freedom, all this means for someone like Tyler the Creator is that he is giving the rap world the best chance we have right now to experience another classic album like we have never heard before. And so now with all this said, let me know. What do you think about the prospect of this upcoming album from Tyler the Creator, and how excited are you to hear what he has cooked up this time around? Now, I can't wait to hear what you have to say, and now if you want to see how Kendrick Lamar is also getting ready to release his new album very soon, check out the suggested video.